And here is how we're going to pouch a stoma that has recessed. As you can see here, I got the Play-Doh kind of all the way up, right skin level to the stoma. And this is the same process if it's completely retracted. And you'll see here that I've got, I <laughs> kind of colored a little bit of the outside um, peristomal area right, right next to the stoma that's irritated. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure. And when I'm talking about measuring, I want it to be, so that would be a little bit too large. I want it to be the exact size of the stoma, maybe just a ditch bit small, bigger. So let's see, that looks about right. That one, pretty close to the stoma, but not touching. And then you'll see how this one is way just a little bit too big. So I'm gonna do this again. Yep, so this one's going to be 16 millimeters, 5 eighths of an inch. That's a lie. It is 19 millimeter. Let me look here. I'm reading it wrong. 19 millimeter, 3 quarters of an inch right here. So what I'm going to do then is just trace on the back of this my measurement that I got. So I'm going to try and get a, a really good measurement on that and cut it out pretty precisely. And cut it out. <clears throat> if you have a moldable, you would just mold it to that side. You just kind of pinch the sides. Uh, but I have a different video for that if you want to look at that for that one. So here we're going to cut it out. So we've got that cut out. I'm going to go back and just take it for a dry run. Mm, a little bit too tight. So now we'll go back and just make it just a hair bit bigger. Try that again. Yeah, maybe a little bit right there. It's kind of hard to get the perfect fit, but this is also what you would be doing when measuring for a pre-cut, is you would be making sure that this the stoma that the stoma um, it fits the stoma perfectly. So that probably cut it back a little bit more right there. So it's kind of a pain to get the perfect fit. But once you do, you can take keep your backing and that'll be your pattern for the next time. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and treat this whole uh, area that is, yeah, is irritated. I'm gonna try to, anyway. So you're just gonna lightly powder all around here just t -t 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 -t. you can kind of spread it out just kind of get it all in there nice maybe wipe off the excess and then I like to take this little a tiny little barrier wipe and go all the way around and dot it so that you're making kind of like a scab that's why they call it crusting so now we've got that. Now, normally with a skin level or a recessed um, stoma, I would say do not put a barrier on the back. Just put this on and, um, you know, and get a really good seal. But when you have this really irritated, dry, um, wet and weepy skin, one thing that you could do is there's a really highly absorptive barrier ring made by Safe and Simple. And you could take that. <clears throat> place it right on the back here and squeeze it really and this is already after you've taken the backing off I don't think I showed that part take the backing off and squeeze it really close to those edges so it's just barely um, so it's just barely gonna raise this barrier off your skin okay you can just do it like that can even kind of pinch it around in the edges right there and then you're just going to place it so you want the stoma so see there we'll push it down and kind of just give it a good patting down all the way around so see you want your stoma to be exposed but all that extra skin that's irritated and red and weepy you want to get that all completely covered and so even if it's recessed um, you're still going to want that's still what you want to do is just leave the stoma exposed and all of that other skin covered slap your 
pouch on and then I would put a belt on right away which just hooks up onto these little hooks here. And there you go.